Hi members, uh, Jake Gibbs, the Director of Grounds here at the club. Just wanted to talk about power. Um, obviously we are in power season at the moment and, uh, and we are working hard to manage it uh, to a zero, zero tolerance. So as much as we have, um, our goal is to continue to, uh, to, to manage it through uh, a variety of methods, whether that's kind of hand weeding or, or spraying to, to make sure that we manage it accordingly. Just down here at the Hidden Valley, and I've just got some power plants in front of, uh, in front of me now, um, popping up through the cooch. Um, and this is some of what we're seeing on the golf course at the moment. Um, so probably a good starting point would be what we do to try and stop the power coming um, up to the surface. We use a herbicide called a pre-emergent herbicide. Now that herbicide is something that's applied and we wash it in with our sprinkler system. And what it's designed to do is it's designed to stop uh, the majority of the power seedlings um, actually sprouting and breaking the surface. Now we obviously get breakouts and that's what we see on the golf course. Um, but we do put that layer down and it's quite interesting when we look in tree lines where we can't get sprayers how much power we see in an area that's sprayed with pre-emergent versus a middle of a fairway um, uh, that, that gets the application versus a tree line that doesn't. So we really do see a distinct difference. Those products do work to a point but we do get those breakouts. So we're down here on the Hidden Valley and I just wanted to show a good example of what the pre-emergent does. So we apply the product, we wash it into the soil and what you'll see is if I tease on one of these plants See how easy that pops out? It's got quite a small root system. So this green would have, or this temporary green, would have the pre-emergent layer in the soil. And then this pyre is probably germinating just above the layer of pre-emergent. So it's probably almost germinating in the thatch of the cooch. So that is definitely one of our issues and something that we have to manage, which is why we get those breakouts, stuff, stuff germinating above that pre-emergent layer. So you'll see a lot of blue dots on the golf course, and that's the team working with herbicides. And they're using their spot spraying, their knapsacks to, to clean up any breakouts there. We also do use uh, some herbicides through the, uh, through the boom, uh, which is the tractor stuff, and we apply that where we can as well. So a bit of a combination of the, uh, of the both. You'll also see guys hand weeding um, around green surrounds because we don't want that chemical landing on our bent grass greens. Um, and we'll also use something called a dabber, which is almost like a foam sponge, again with a herbicide in the tube, and we just dab that kind of perimeter around the greens just to reduce spray drift. I mean, I think for us, uh, power, power is a, con uh, a continual battle. I don't think it's one we, we ever win where we have a zero. Um, we certainly feel like we have a lot less at this stage this year than we did at this stage la last year, or three you know, really wet years. So it certainly feels encouraging in that regard, but uh, it certainly will be a battle for us going forwards. The other challenge that we have is the herbicides that we use. Um, we've used the same herbicides for 20 years plus, because that's all that we have available as a tool. And the issue that you get is the power gets used to those herbicides being used over and over. And that's how we get resistancy. So we make sure that we use different herbicides that uh, are available to rotate so the plant doesn't know which one's coming at it next and try and avoid using the same type over and over. But unfortunately, we're so limited in what is available now from the uh, Australian Pesticide Veterinary Medicines Association, the APVMA, that we, we are pretty limited on what we can use. But we will continue to focus on it um, in the coming months and keep the population as low as we can trying to zero it out ahead of the cooch growing starting to grow around that september time and out competing the the the, the power or the winter grass